As we expand our communities into wildland areas, fire-tolerant vegetation and the steep slopes we build on expose us to new dangers. We could see it pushing it this way, and then, like I said, the wind kicked up today. Evacuations are still continuing in the west. And then my husband area. called from the sheriff department, and he said, you can see the flames from downtown. But we, don't... we have information from my undersheriff confirming that there have been several deaths. To protect homes and firefighters, fire managers have begun to look for new ways to reduce these dangers. One option is to use controlled browsing by goats to reduce vegetation in wildland urban interface areas. Goats are comfortable on steep slopes and are very effective at removing brush. The Federal Joint Fire Science Program funded this research project designed to give fire managers and communities information on how to best use this tool. Here you see time-lapse photos showing the result of a herd of goats in a small plot over a 14-day period. Goats are kept in electric fence pens to help them focus on their task and keep them out of neighbors' yards. We modeled fire behavior using data gathered at test sites on Camp Williams National Guard Training Facility in Utah. The results showed that it does work, but an actual fire provided more feedback. On July 16, 2001, a fire was started as a result of a training exercise at the camp. With temperatures in the 90s and winds gusting from 30 to 60 miles per hour, it was soon out of control. Okay, the military says that the fire is still moving west up Beef Hollow, uh, so it's taken off that way. The wind is really changing a lot back and forth from uh, east to west. There's the uh, helicopter. Looks like they're going to spray where our goats are, so we're in pretty good shape. The technicians cut the Beef Hollow fences and ran the goats about a mile down to a fenced-in ammunition storage point. The Wood Hollow goats were herded up the road to a safe zone of dirt and gravel. National Guard staff stayed with them, hosing down vegetation until flames crossing the road forced them to leave. Meanwhile, technicians left the area with the solar chargers and fences. After four long days, the Camp Williams fire is finally under control. At the time it was all said and done, more than 12,000 acres went up in smoke with an estimated cost to taxpayers of nearly half a million dollars. Goat vegetation treatments did work. The areas where goats were used stand out green against the fire-blackened landscape. Firefighters witnessed 15-foot flame lengths drop to 2 feet and then burn out when they ran into the goat plots. The blackened area, just beyond the edge of the goat treatment site, is the area mechanically thinned by hotshots just the week before the fire. This handbook on CD contains the results of six years of study. Does It Work? describes the research project methods and results, the findings from the fire behavior modeling effort, and some comparisons with other treatment methods. In Where Does It Work? you'll find mapping techniques for choosing potential treatment sites. 
Managing a goat workforce covers fencing methods, herd handling, and what goats eat. Contracts, costs, and making it work for you provides contracting and business planning examples as well as some suggestions for getting started. Videos are included throughout the handbook. You can find the complete list in the video library. References and resources include citations, contacts, books, and websites to help you continue to expand your understanding of goat management. I hope you will use your own background and experience to successfully use goats as a tool.